Okay, so here's the situation. My air is not building up and uh, just staying at the 60 and because of that, because of that, I am not able to go into the high gear and uh, my airbag is not inflating too. So that's why I'm just trying to get into the nearest shop and uh, get this problem fixed. This video is linked to my previous video about the air not building up uh, and I, I recommended the compressor uh, was weak but uh, I decided to go to the different mechanic and uh, get the second opinion so I'm gonna show you where it is. Alright so the other mechanic wants me to change the whole compressor while uh, I'm at the, my own mechanic and uh, he just told me that most likely if there's any breakage in this uh, main line coming from the compressor so they mostly test it from the dryer side and that's why they're not getting any pressure but this line mostly get cracked or have a damage and uh, because of that uh, it's not giving enough pressure uh, to the dryer and that's why the air is not moving so in my case we just tested it and this line is crack we have to replace this one only you change your compressor check this line spray on this start your truck and you'll see if there is any crack in it. So as you can see right behind the battery box you can see this line and you just take a spray and spray on that uh, black line it is actually uh, the long line most of the trucks have uh, the silver long line but in a Freightliner mostly they have uh, two different lines so it's a small piece that is connected to the server line and then it's connected to the compressor and this line go directly from uh, compressor to the dryer so the, the it's like a 15 inch uh, long uh, line airline and uh, you can uh, chain that yourself it's not that hard it just open it and it's like uh, two screws and uh, make sure you take out all the air from the uh, from the tanks before you replace them. And it just cost me around like uh, fifty-two point uh, twenty-eight dollars for this line, and it was not that hard to replace. It's directly connected to the compressor. It's always hard to diagnose the problem and it's so easy to fix it. So if you know the problem, you can easily fix it. Alright, so as you can see, I'm not hitting any RPM, it's just idling and my air pressure is building up. So the other mechanic, he told me it, it's a compressor and he checked it with the gauge that uh, he was not getting enough pressure uh, to the gauge. He disconnected from the dryer and uh, the line coming from the compressor. So. Uh, he told me, well, you got to change your compressor because it's not uh, giving enough power. 
um, enough uh, pressure to the dryer so the air is not building up and uh, so he made the compressor make uh, look weaker and uh, then he was like uh, if uh, the problem is not fixed we gotta change the dryer and uh, that was the repair of about uh, 2500 to 3000 dollars I checked the price for the compressor like $800 and then the dryer is like six seven hundred dollars so plus the labor for like 10 to 11 hours and that was around uh, 25 to three thousand dollar repair so now as I just show you the the reason why he was not getting enough pressure to the gauge uh, when he disconnected from the dryer side and uh, the reason was because that line actually goes from compressor to the dryer that was leaking so he didn't look at that and he wants me to change the whole um, compressor and the dryer so just to let you guys know always get a second opinion and uh, save some money because uh, sometimes people make it look like he made me look like he was uh, telling me everything right because he showed me and the pressure and everything but the problem was not the air compressor or it was not the the dryer the problem was the the line that I just show you that line was leaking and you can easily check it before you change your compressor so I hope that resolve the problem Thank you so much. As you just heard the sneezing voice from the dryer. So you can also notice the air pressure went all the way up to 160. I think that's something uh, uh, just uh, the air gauges. They, they didn't have the air for so long, I guess. So uh, I hope it don't do that again. Uh, but it's coming back to the right air pressure. It should be at the 120 all that time uh, when you drive in the truck. And if it go above, it should be sneezing. So I think uh, the gauges didn't work right. Um, but now it's working good. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much.